All right, folks. Today is my second attempt at the urban trout program with my buddy Will and his wife. So we got three people after trout. Surely we'll get more than two like me and Will did the other day. Use a variety of tactics and see what we can get. Starting off with a half orange and half yellow trout magnet under a float. I have this buddy near me here. See, here's what I was doing right here, just barely cranking it. I learned they don't give you much of a chance, though. They don't give you much of a chance. You got about one second to react. At least that day, anyway. I'm gonna give each color a half an hour. If I don't get something, I'm switching the color. Oh my gosh, she she got a fish already, guys. No, she got it. I'm gonna go dip right it's work. Oh, it's still on there. Oh, she don't need no dip net. That's only two pound All right, folks, she got her first rainbow. We hadn't even been here a minute. That's a good sign. Well, it's too bad we can't keep four each, you know it. Another month, though. She caught him on a yellow. I might switch to yellow, but I'm going to give mine a chance. Mine's half yellow. Well, that's my kind of dog. Good looking trout. He's about a 10 incher. Nice, though. All right. Good start. Real good start. Man, we might sit here and catch 30 of them at this rate. Bit. Wow, we're on them. We probably still got the morning bite going though. There he is. Dang it, I can't get out there. Setting that hook an extra time. You got to keep tension on them as, as a lot of it. You can't let off. Or they shut, or they shake. The, ooh, that's a pretty, real pretty dark one. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Wow. That's got a good color to it. That one's about 12 inches, isn't it? All right, folks, I got my first one that actually stayed on. And uh, it's about a 12 incher here. I think I'm gonna start keeping the pliers in my pocket because I'm gonna need them. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the pliers. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna see if we can get some more here. They're really stacked up in this cove. From what we've experienced, we we catch more fish in this cove than anywhere else in the lake. And it's because there's this little tunnel that comes in and when it rains heavily, that washes out a little ditch through here that's, you know, it might be a foot deeper or whatever and they stack up in here and feed. All right, folks, fish number two. About 12 inches. Not bad. There are some bigger in here. They they release a few in here. I'm not sure how many, maybe a hundred out of the 2,000 that are called broad stocks. And they range anywhere from 13 to 18 inches. So I'm hoping to get one of them today as well. There you go. Get out of here. Going the wrong way. Well, I'm gonna say yellow and three feet down seems to be working. Or it could be the orange, but yellow worked for her. So. All right, she's got her second one. That's 
three fish for us in, in just a matter of five, six minutes. Still on yellow. And that one's about 11 inches, maybe 10, 10 or 11. Squirmy, some real squirmy things. Oh yeah. She's gonna whip us, Will. She's getting vengeance. All right, he's got his first fish. All right. And he caught him on the red one, color red. Yeah. Not bad. We're getting them at least. I just had to break off. Oh, this than he yeah, that's the size of the one I had. Fat. Yeah, that's a real fat one. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, she got a, a decent one. He's a foot long. Good pink to him. on her she's finally got a fish and we've been a long time without one guy and uh she finally hooked she hooked a real bruiser this what is it black on yellow black on yellow oh okay Folks, we just went over an hour or maybe an hour and a half without a single fish. We got here right at the end of the morning by a bear. Okay. And uh, yeah, we got here and we caught we caught six fish in less than ten minutes and then it's just like they turned off. Yellow, huh? And I got two on. I'm gonna have to switch apparently. It's a nice one. It's got to be 12 or 13, isn't it? I think that's it? the longest one I've caught. Yeah. Biggest one. <laughs> They're like an eel. Two seconds. Whoa. 15. 15 inches. I was way off. My goodness. Yeah, that's the biggest one I've seen out of here. Wow. That's a good one. Yeah. Goodness. Oh yeah, all right folks, Will's got a good one on down here. I'm trying to get down there, but it's hard for me to, my line was so far out. Oh! I think this is Will's fourth one. Yeah, he's got another 15. It's, it might go 14 or 15 though. All right, man, we are on them now. Once again, they're starting to pick up, except for me. Except for <laughs> Everybody's catching them, but old Josh. Just don't make no sense. Actually got one. I'll just zoom from here, man. I'm zooming. All right, Will's got number five. I'm zoomed in as much as it'll go. <laughs> all right. I think that makes number nine for us all together, maybe ten even. He said it's a smaller one.
There we go, finally. All right. I finally got number three, guys. Took forever, damn boy, I tell you. And he fell off right at the right time, though. It's a, about a 12. About a 12 incher. Right. I got three, he got three, and she got four. 10, that's number 10. Actually, she may have caught five. So. smaller side. That's a bonus fish. That, that ain't too bad for a little city car. Girthy. Huh. Oh, no, we're not keeping anything. We don't got nothing to even keep them in. My wife took it home, got a meal out of one fish. Yeah. It's a little bit bigger than this one. Though. He's eight inches, but he sure is thick <clears throat> on the top. Yeah. No, this one's about 10. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah. I've never uh, caught one out of here. A little over 11. Boy, that son of a gun was about that thick. My goodness. Huh. You wouldn't think it, they'd reach oh, that I size in here. Out here last week. Never caught a crappy spring. Huh. Yeah. That ain't bad. He's caught one that was 11 inches out of here, so that ain't... <laughs> I thought I would've got a crappie on accident. There just ain't a whole lot of them, I don't think. <clears throat> oh, she caught a large mouth on a trout magnet. Obviously, it's a bass magnet, too. <laughs> What's fair? That's a fish, though. Get your fish. Yeah. He wants it. He's, try to. He's kind of tame, eh, boy? He'll let you get two feet from him. So what it's, do you guys use for bait? Trout those bag. trout magnets. What is that? It's just a little tiny rubber thing about this long. I can show you. I got one on mine. Real small. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, they're real tiny. They're only about an inch long. It's just like a, you know what a beetle spin is? Yeah. It's kind of like them, they're little fork tails. But you get them in 10 packs for just a couple bucks. But they work real well. That's the one thing I found that works consistently anyway, under a, a three foot under a float. So uh, you can keep them after January 1st? Is that how? Feb February 1st. February 1st. Yeah, another month. I, it's on a Friday. I'm going to come that Saturday because I got to work on the 1st. but. Yeah, I'm gonna, and then you can start using corn or whatever you want, I think. So I'm gonna. Oh, it's just artificial stuff for now? Yeah. They're real picky. You can't have no scent on it, and it can't be live bait or, or natural bait either. It's tough. It makes it a challenge, though. What we've learned, too, if the wind ain't blowing, they don't bite. Oh, really? Has to be a little. Been, we've been lucky today. The wind's been blowing the whole time. <laughs> that guy caught more than me. <laughs> Well, I hope they start biting again. We've hit a dead spot for a couple hours, really. Oh, you're welcome. Yep. Oh, man. Yours went completely under, too. Oh, She's got one. All right, folks. Maybe, hopefully not a bass this. No, it's a trout, for sure. All right, folks. This is trout number 12. Not a Get bad one. Here, Not a bad one. He's a 13 probably. Get out of here. I thought I lost him at first. God, they just don't quit. <laughs> they do not calm down for a while. And then when you think they're calming down, they didn't. I thought I lost <sighs> him and then I ended up getting him anyways. He came back for a second. Yeah, her, yeah, she, 
It gave her two chances. They don't hardly ever do that. Uh-uh. Ooh, they got teeth. I just yeah, now realized that. They're not that bad though, as long as you get your finger on it good. He just got one too. All right, folks. That's her sixth one, I think. We've caught 12 all together. I got three, he got four, and she got five, something like that. It's missing its fin. It's just a... Folks, I'm gonna get her back in the water. I just heard a button pop, and I don't know if it was my coat or my pants. Hopefully, neither. Oh, it just came undone. That's all. Oh, my coat. I see him trying to go under that rock right there. There we go. Yes. This is a good one. It's hung. What? <laughs> oh my, oh my. I've never got hung before. Let me come. Hold on. She just got a decent one. Might be another one of those 15 inches. Oh yeah, it is. That's death. Yeah, that's a that's a broad stock, I think. Sure is. Yeah, that's a real nice one. We might want to measure that one. I think it's bigger than my biggest. Dang, I wish I had that pole. I got a rod that has a measuring thing on it, but no. That's a nice one. All right, folks, look at this one. Ooh. She caught one that's the, we think's the biggest one of the day. It's at least 15, but that oh, one it's was really swallowed the hook too. That's got to be. I'll let y'all have the fish. I'll put it the that's got to be a nice. That's a. It's 15, I'd say. It could go 16, I guess. It's a nice trout there. <coughs> yeah. If it's not the biggest one of the day, it's the tied for the best or second biggest. Closest I can get. There's one foot right there. 16. About, 16. About a 16 incher, guys. I got a tape measure, but it's way over there. Right, we're going we're gonna to put her back in. It's a, <coughs> it's a nice trout. Trout of the day, maybe, unless we get another one. Nice trout, guys. We ended up having a pretty good day. My gloves are like, my gloves are like super slippery now. Oh, she's got another one, folks, and here comes the bird after it. <laughs> Uh, the bad thing is, I left my dip net in the car, but we don't need it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. She got another. This one's a 12 at least, man. 13, 14. It's a nice one. I'd say he's, yeah, about 14. Decent. Uh -oh. This bird all day has been following us wherever the fish, people are catching fish, he flies over there real quick and stands right by the people begging for a meal. It's the tamest heron I've ever seen. I think that's what it is, a blue heron. I mean, I'm literally three feet from it right now. He's finally getting weary about right here. <laughs> Why 
why you got your neck tucked in. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs>